Hey guys, a little while ago I posted a lesson called Four Things You Need to Know to Learn Guitar Much Faster. And one of those things was about transcribing music that you love to listen to, songs that you love, in order to train your ear. And well, I talked about it all in there, and I'll include a link here for you in case you want to check that out. But what I didn't talk about in that lesson was the piece of software that I use that makes transcribing a heck of a lot easier. And that's what we're going to cover today. All right, so I have a browser window loaded here with uh, the website loaded up for the software that I use, which is called Transcribe. The software is at seventhstring.com, and you can download it, use a free demo, or you can purchase it. It's like 31 bucks, I think, 39, something like that. It's less than 40 bucks, uh, $39 for one copy of the software. It's very reasonable. Now, these guys aren't endorsing this video in any way. This is something that I bought quite a while ago, and I just wanted to share it with you because I think it's so incredibly useful. And I have the software loaded up here behind it. For this lesson, I've loaded one of my band songs into it. Uh, it's called Tsunami of Pain on our album Starting Over, which, uh, shameless plug, is available on Spotify and YouTube and iTunes Music and everywhere all over the place. Uh, I didn't do that because I'm an incredible narcissist, even though I might be. But uh, I just didn't want to use uh, somebody else's song and anger the copyright lords. You never know what's cool to play on YouTube or not, so I'm just playing it safe. Uh, in any case, so I, what I have loaded up here is the song, and I've queued it up to about the solo, and you can just pick where you want to have it start playing. And so there are, there are a couple things, just, just two things quickly that I'm going to show you about the software and why I use this for transcribing. And there are a ton of features here, and you can do like a full feature video on it. But really, when I'm transcribing music, I'm just using two features. And so that's all we really need to talk about for the purposes of showing you why you want to maybe get this for your own use. So again, I can start it wherever I need to. You hit the play button. And that's the solo, the beginning of the solo. I've got like a tapping loop here. And when you're transcribing music, if you try to take too much of it at once, it can be very difficult. You get lost, you forget where that first note is. So sometimes you want to break it down into a little small section, a measure, or even a note at a time sometimes if you're really stuck. So if I grab kind of a measure here, so it kind of repeats there. Let's see if I can get it right. You can drag it out and just loop a section. That's the first important thing. A little bit more, I want it to be in time. Almost. It's pretty close. All right, so that's the one piece of it. The second piece of it that's really important is this other feature right here at the top, and that's that I can slow it down all the way down to 25%. I'll put it at 50%. And what's cool about this, like in the old days, if you tried to slow stuff down, it dropped the pitch. The pitch stays the same, so you're not losing the note. Play along now. So when you're figuring out those really difficult passages that you're having a lot of trouble with, you can break them down. You can practice them at half speed along with the music as kind of goofy as it sounds. Or if it's just a matter of figuring out what notes were being played and writing in tablature, um, you can do it, like I said, even one note at a time if you have to and build the tablature out that way. So this might be the shortest gear slash software kind of demo uh, YouTube's ever seen, but this is all of the features of this software that are needed for transcribing music that you're working on. Now I'm going to extend out further, not in this video, but I'm going to do another one where I transcribe a song and uh, we'll talk about all the processes I use and all the softwares for getting it from here where I'm learning the notes in a tablature form and double checking stuff and all that. That's kind of more of an advanced thing and it'll take some time, but for the purposes of what we're doing here, this is it. This is the software that will make your life a lot easier when you're trying to learn other people's songs. So as always, guys, uh, any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you know of other software that you think does this really well and you want to share it with everyone, of course, please do. And until next time, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.